happy Monday, everybody. Um, I have a little order for a small loopy bow, and I thought that I would make a video and show you how I make it. So I've already got my ribbons out. It's going to be the yellow, yellow and white striped and polka dot loopy bow. So I already got those out and ready to go. Um, you're going to need thread, a little felt circle or oval. I kind of make mine a little oval. Um, you can buy these at craft stores um, or online. Um, I make mine out of felt. I just cut it out. But you're going to need a needle and scissors. Okay. The first thing we do is we decide, okay, what size are we doing? We're doing a small loopy bow. So, and that's gonna be two inches wide. Um, I like to put 25 strands in my tiny loopy bows, the two inch ones. So we have four colors and we need to divide that up. So we're gonna need six of each color and then one extra. And I'll probably just do that with the plain yellow. Okay, so the first thing we do is not hit our camera and mess everything up. Okay, but the first thing we do is we measure. And I measure about two and a half inches and make my first cut. So there, there's two and a half inches. Okay, and then I just keep cutting. I'll cut seven of these. Did everybody have a good weekend? I had a little weekend. I guess it was okay. Um, we're in the process of remodeling our home. So I spent Saturday doing some things. We're painting walls, we're replacing tile, all kinds of stuff. So there's always something to do. And we spent the day sanding walls and preparing my um, vanity in my bathroom to be painted. So that's what I spent Saturday doing. And Sunday I work my part-time job. Okay, once we get those done and we're, we have our um, little stack going there, then we get our next color. Next color is white. And we will only do six of those. So let me push that off to the side. And we're actually going to do our clip on the bottom white. So let me go ahead and cut my clip um, ribbon. <laughs> it's Monday. Okay, so I cut that four and a half inches and just push it off to the side. Okay, and then I just use my first set as a little template to go by. And I cut and make stacks. You wanna keep them separate. And you don't wanna mix all your colors together because Actually, we're gonna make stacks and we're gonna sew from the stacks. These are pretty fun to make. Um, the hardest part about doing these is the cutting, because sometimes if you have a lot of colors to go with, you know, in your bow, then it takes a while but they're fun to make and I enjoy it. 
Okay, now we're moving on to our polka dot. And we're gonna get around to making videos on all the bows that I make. I'm going to show you step by step on how I do it. All right, once we get all these cut, then I make my little stacks and I kind of organize it the way that I want the bow to look. You know, you kind of want to spread your colors out and not have like yellow and yellow together, which they're going to be together, but you kind of want to make a little pattern. So what we do is we get our thread. I usually get a long piece of thread and thread my needle. And make a knot, which y'all know that I have not mastered making a knot at the end of my thread. So I just knot it over and over and over. <laughs> I'm still waiting on somebody in the comments to tell me how to do it a lot easier. Okay, once you got your little knot down there, Okay, then you start sewing. We take one of these and you fold it in half like that and put your needle sort of at the bottom in the middle like that and pull it through. Oops. Okay, not your whole thread, but pull it through. And of course, mine wants to do this because I'm making a video. <laughs> okay, then you take your next color, fold it in half. Do the same thing. This time, you're going to pull it through and put it to the side. And it, it'll flatten them sometimes, but whenever you're done, you can always puff them back up. Take your next color, same thing, and push it to the side. And you just keep doing this. And then this one, I'm going to bring back over on this side. Okay, and you don't really pull your your thread real tight. I mean, you keep it where the knot's there at the end, but you don't pull it real tight like you're sewing. You just want to get the, the little ribbon loops through. And you just kind of make your little pattern how you want it to turn out. Like mine, I just kind of Spread my colors out. I just keep sewing. Oops, only one at a time. Yes, I make two sizes of these. I make the smaller two inch ones like we're making here. And then I make a three inch one. Um, you can make them larger. Um, sometimes you just have to use larger ribbon. And I've done it before. Um, I don't offer any larger sizes in my shop unless it's like a special bow that I've made. 
Um, I haven't had any request for any larger ones. I mean, it's very rare that I do. I think I've, I may have only had like one request and I did it, but, um, I haven't had anybody ask for larger sizes. So that's probably why I don't have a larger size in my store. I may eventually add some bigger sizes, but right now the three inch seems to be a really good size that everybody likes. And also two inch. Um, I just figured I have different sizes for my corker bows. Why not offer different sizes for my loopy bows? And you just keep working it. Okay, once you get to the end, you're gonna have something that looks like this. And what we do here is kind of flatten these down and take my little knot down here at the end. This is why I said don't, don't pull it tight when you're sewing these because you're actually gonna pull like that where your thread, you have enough thread on each side. Okay, and you got them pulled down. Now what I do is I take this last little loopy and I run my needle up under it like that and back out to where I got my thread together. All right, and sometimes your little loopy there will scrunch up and it's okay it's all right because it's going to be on the bottom all right then i take my thread and i tie a knot and then i tie another one and i cut okay i flip it over and shape it out look like a little loopy and like I said then this is the part where you can take your little loops and fluff them back out you know kind of keep it round you can move some of your colors around if you need to like if you have too much white in one place or too much yellow and maybe you have stripes on top of stripes so just move them around fluff it up okay once you get to that part where it looks like a little loopy bow flip it back over take your little felt circle or oval and i have my glue gun already heated up actually let me get another Okay, it's Monday, y'all. Let me put another little thing in there. Glue stick. Okay, I take my felt and I put glue on it. And glue it to your bottom. And you can flip it back over. And I kind of push it down onto the little felt circle. Get all the glue on there. And then you'll have to fluff it back up sometimes. Okay, once you've done that, then what I do, just so it stays in place, holds its shape, and doesn't come apart because anything that's sewn, you know it's gonna come apart. You know, whether you sewed a pair of pants or, you know, sewed a seam somehow, it's gonna come apart. 
And just like this, it sewed with that little piece of thread. It could possibly come apart, and especially if little kids are wearing it and you know they take it out, they're playing with it. So what I do is I go through and I add a little bit of glue in between the loopies just to keep it in place. You know, make sure it's still fluffed up and all the little loops are where you want them. But I just put a little bit of glue in there so that way it won't come apart as easily. Okay. Then I take my clip and I also have a little silicone gripper. And I take some glue and put it on my ribbon and get it on there. Let me seal this end. I do little sections at a time whenever I'm I'm doing my hair clips because the glue kind of dries fast and you don't want it to dry fast because then it won't stay. your clip cover. I just do a partial covering. Put a little strip of glue there. Put your silicone gripper in there. That's done. Then I put a strip of glue on top. Put it on the bottom. Make sure no glue strings are coming out. And there you go. There's your loopy bow. I'll make another video on doing bigger ones. But this was just an Etsy order that I had for a small loopy bow. Alright, well I'll see you in the next video. I'm not sure what we'll be making, but it'll be one of the bows that I make. Maybe a corker bow or clippies, and I'll show you how that's done. All right, have a great day.